If you're running an online store with WooCommerce, there'll probably be times where you need to temporarily disable it. Maybe you're short on staff or your products are on back order. Whatever the reason, it's nice to have a way to stop orders from coming in and let your customers know when you'll be back up and running. But be careful because disabling your entire WooCommerce store or tinkering with code on the back end can cause some real headaches. If you're new here, I'm Sam from Barn2, and today I want to share with you three ways that you can turn off WooCommerce without affecting the rest of your WordPress site. So stay tuned to learn about the handy plugins that make all of this possible. Before we begin the tutorial section, I'll quickly outline each of the three different methods and give you timestamps so you can jump to them if that's what you want to do. In this video, I'll first cover how to temporarily remove your entire WooCommerce store from your public facing website which is done with the WooCommerce private store plugin. Then we'll look at hiding only specific categories from your e-commerce store or disabling the WooCommerce shop page. We can do this with the WooCommerce protected categories plugin. And finally, we'll talk about how to temporarily disable orders of products by modifying them in the backend. And at the end, I'll give you a bonus alternative method. So stick around for that. Remember that each plugin I mention is going to be linked in the description below and all Barn2 plugins are covered by our 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk to giving them a go. Okay. All set. Let's dive into the tutorial for each of the three different methods. Method number one, temporarily disable your entire WooCommerce store. As I mentioned, the first method uses the WooCommerce private store plugin to temporarily disable or hide your entire WooCommerce store. It's perfect for e-commerce store owners who need some time off or short on staff or are in a situation where they've run out of inventory. The plugin hides your entire store from your public facing website by disabling the shop page and all other store pages. Visitors trying to access your store will be redirected to a different page based on your plugin settings. That said, it's still accessible with a password and you can unlock it for specific users or roles within your site. Click the first link below in the description to go to our website and pick up a copy of this plugin, which you'll need to follow this tutorial. Then follow these steps to install and set it up. First, you need to download the plugin files and copy the license key from the order confirmation page or the email notification receipt. Log into your WordPress admin panel and head over to plugins, add new, click the upload button and look for the plugin files that you downloaded. Once you've installed it on your website, it'll launch the setup wizard for you. Then on this first page here, you can paste the license key that you copied earlier, click activate and go next. We want to make sure these boxes are ticked if we want people who are logged in or have a valid password to be able to access our store. Next up is the password section. We can add as many passwords as we'd like. We can also add a redirect URL, which is where people will go after unlocking the store. This next page handles the store login form, as well as the message that users will see before they've logged in. Then we have the option to add user roles. For example, I could add the shop accountant role here. And now the plugin is all set up. So long as the plugin remains active on your site, your Woo store will be hidden from the public, but it will remain accessible to those with the correct password or user or role credentials. Method number two, use WooCommerce protected categories plugin to hide specific categories and their products. The WooCommerce protected categories plugin lets you hide one or more categories within your online store. In other words, instead of disabling your entire WooCommerce shop, you can simply disable specific categories and all the products within those categories. This is a practical option for store owners who want to temporarily disable out of stock categories while continuing to sell from others, pause the production of certain product categories, or make certain product categories private and accessible only to selected users. The plugin allows you to protect specific categories in three different ways with password protection, allowing different user roles or allowing different specific users. And you can mix and match them as much as you'd like allowing you to effectively hide things from the public while allowing only the right people with the right credentials to have access. Just like before, if you want to give this method a go, you should grab a copy from our website, which is the second link in the description below. Then follow these instructions to install and set it up. Copy the license key from your order confirmation page or the email notification, log into your WordPress dashboard and head over to plugins, add new, 
click the Upload New button and look for the plugin files on your computer. Install and activate the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin to your WordPress site, and then launch the Setup Wizard. On this first page here, you can paste the license key that we copied earlier, click Activate, and go Next. First, it will ask if you want to show the protected categories and products in the public-facing store. If you don't want these categories or products to be visible to the public, you should leave these boxes unchecked. Then we'll allow people with a valid password and logged in users to have access. We can set up the passwords in more detail here, as well as the messages and text that people will see. Then we'll select the WordPress login page from the drop down here. So when people are logged out, this is what it will redirect them to. Now the plugin is active, but we haven't actually protected any categories yet. For that, we need to go to products, categories, and find one to edit. Let's edit this health and fitness category. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the visibility is currently set to public. We're gonna change this to protected. And now, like I said, there are three different ways to protect a category. We'll start with password protection, where we can edit and add as many passwords as we'd like. Then we can also add user roles. For example, I could add the administrator and users we can select any users that already have an account on our site. Now that category and all the products within that category are protected from the public, but people with the correct password or user role or account will be able to access it. And of course you can repeat these steps for as many categories as you need. Method number three, modifying checkout options to disable orders. The first two methods focus on disabling the entire WooCommerce store or entire categories. Alternatively, you might want to disable checkout options or turn off ordering for specific products. The best way to disable checkout or turn off orders for a certain product is to either remove the price of the product, which in turn removes the add to cart button, or mark the product out of stock. But a better option is to offer lead times for these products, which I'll get into in a moment. By default, you don't have the option to hide product prices Instead, you'll have to remove them entirely in the back end. You could use code to hide the prices of specific products. However, you do risk breaking your site doing this because it involves editing and adding code snippets to crucial parts of your site, like your child theme and your functions, PHP file, etc. That's why I'd recommend using a plugin. I actually already made a video about how to hide WooCommerce product prices, which I'll link up here. Once you've hidden the price of your product, you can also mark it out of stock. For this, you can follow these steps. Open the WordPress dashboard and go to the product you want to mark out of stock. Navigate to the product data section and click the inventory. Here, you can change the stock status to out of stock and make sure to click update once done. However, if something is simply out of stock, don't disable your entire store or category, just show lead times. Using the WooCommerce lead time plugin, also from Barn2, you can show when products will be ready for dispatch. This handy plugin lets you set a global lead time that will appear on all your product pages, or you can show lead times on specific products. You can choose which stock statuses to show lead times for. For example, you could show lead times for out of stock or on back order products only, instead of taking them offline. This way you can still stop orders temporarily, but give the option to customers to purchase them with a later delivery date. And of course, it's also linked below if you want to check it out. Or if you want to learn more about this plugin in particular, including how to set up the dynamic lead time feature, then I recommend you watch this video next. And of course, thanks for watching.